Hey guys, somebody sent me this request and I kind of like it. It looks like a fun one. So I'm going to pull them out of here. So we have the red bar and the green bar. And then we also have this purple wall. These are the shadows that they're making and we're given all of these measurements. The green box is two meters high with the shadow of three. Along the ground, this shadow measures six meters and up the wall, it measures four meters. Now we're trying to solve for the height of the red bar. So let's call that X. We don't need most of this wall. Let's smush it down. And we can imagine if the wall wasn't there, the shadow would go about this far. But we don't know how far this is, so let's give it a variable y. Let's focus on this part and this part right here. We can set up a proportion. We can say that 2 over 3 is equal to 4 over y, because the shadows are proportional to the heights of the objects. And now to solve for y, we can cross multiply. 2 times y will give us 2y, and that's going to be equal to 3 times 4, which is 12. And then we can divide both sides by 2, and we get y is equal to 6. So we can update this y to be 6 meters. We know from here to here the shadow is 6 meters, and then from here to here it's 6 meters. The whole thing is going to be 12 meters. So now we no longer need this thing, and we can set up another proportion. The 2 over 3 will equal x over 12. And now to solve for x, we're going to cross multiply. 3 times x is 3x, and that's going to be equal to 2 times 12, which is 24. And then we can divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 8. x was the height of our red bar, so we can change this to 8 meters. And now we're done. That's the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.